federal judge has denied the government's request to consolidate the Red Hill cases. And tonight, Red Hill families say it is a major step forward. Mahalani Richardson has the exclusive story. Only Hawaii News Now was in federal court last week as Red Hill families and the U.S. Department of Justice came together as the government asked the judge to consolidate the Red Hill lawsuits since they have common issues. But now U.S. Magistrate Judge Kenneth Mansfield has ruled against consolidation because it could compromise the cases. What the government is saying is they want more time. What the judge is saying is no. These cases are moving forward towards trial, and these families need justice. Christina Baer represents more than 100 plaintiffs. The ruling means six representative plaintiff families are set for trial next March. I kept smelling gas, like my house smelled like um, a gas station. Amanda Zavrzinski is one of the plaintiffs who filed suit under the firm Just Well Law. She and her family were living in military housing at Pearl Harbor. Around the November 2021 fuel spill that tainted the Pearl Harbor drinking water system, the family got sick. Her daughter suffered severe nosebleeds for months. Zavrzinski says she got chemical burns in her mouth and throat. The nerve damage in her head was so serious she gets monthly injections to numb the pain. It is a painful process and procedure. Uh, so it's, it's definitely this whole experience has turned our lives upside down. Her dog, Molly, also died. It was horrible to watch. We're still, you know, dealing with the after effects of um, being poisoned with jet fuel. Next week, the parties in the cases go into mediation. I want accountability. I want the truth. I want this never to happen to anyone ever again. This is horrific not just for me, but for thousands of families. Hawaii News Now reached out to the U.S. Department of Justice's attorney in the case and has yet to hear back. Mahia Lenny Richardson, Hawaii News Now.